If you're looking to get into the festive fall spirit or searching for the perfect post-Thanksgiving feast film, then you are in for a treat. <laughs> On this IMD Brief, we're talking turkey about the perfect Thanksgiving movies to watch before, during, or after your big meal. Up first is the classic 1992 film, Scent of a Woman. Chris O'Donnell plays a prep school student in need of cash who over Thanksgiving weekend is hired to babysit a blind and cranky lieutenant colonel played by Al Pacino. hoo -ah! Are you listening to me, son? I'm giving you pearls here. <laughs> the role won Pacino his first and only Academy Award, though he's been nominated nine times. And the year he won, he was actually nominated twice for Scent of a Woman and for Glen Gary Glenn Ross. Are you talking to me? No, we're talking to this clan of creepy kooks in the 1993 film, Adam's Family Values. This was one of 10 film and TV adaptations based on the Adam's Family New Yorker cartoon created by Charles Adams in 1938 and a sequel to the 1991 box office hit. Thanksgiving has a small but memorable place in family values. When Wednesday Adams, played by Christina Ricci, reluctantly accepts the role of Pocahontas in her camp's Turkey Day play. A decision the counselors soon regret. And for all these reasons, I've decided to scalp you. If you're a fan of Friendsgiving, then look no further than The Best Man Holiday. Though technically a Christmas film, it pairs perfectly with Thanksgiving as it follows a group of friends who reunite after 15 years to celebrate the holidays together. I can't tell you how good it is to have all of us under the same roof again. The movie's all-star cast features Regina Hall, Tay Diggs, and Morris Chestnut, and is a sequel to 1999's The Best Man. It has long been rumored there will be a third film in the franchise, The Best Man Wedding, and Tay Diggs claims a script's been written, but it may end up on the small screen. He figured it out, promptly beat my ass, and, uh, oh, called off the wedding. For something a bit bleaker and not so family friendly, check out 2015's Krisha. It'll make anyone's dysfunctional holiday antics look like a walk in the park. The movie follows the titular Krisha who returns to cook Thanksgiving dinner for the family she's been estranged from for the past 10 years. Where have you been? What have you been doing? Krisha was the first feature film directed by Trey Edward Schultz. It features many of his family members as the main cast and was filmed at his mother's house in Texas for only $30,000. Are you mad at me? Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. And last, but certainly not least, is the pinnacle of Thanksgiving movies, 1987's Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. This legendary John Hughes film follows odd couple Steve Martin and John Candy desperately trying and continuously failing to get to Chicago for Thanksgiving. I've been wearing the same underwear since Tuesday. I can vouch for that. The film was inspired by director and writer John Hughes' own perilous journey from New York to Chicago that ended up taking him five days due to delays. This is also not the only holiday Hughes film as he wrote Dutch, another Thanksgiving film, and back-to-back -back Christmas classics, 1989's National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation and 1990's Home Alone. You guys give up? Oh yeah, thirsty for more. For more holiday movie recommendations and festive film news, stay glued to imdb.com slash imdbrief. hoo -ah!